Time right now, 8 o'clock, and we have some early calls coming in already. Thank you for joining us on this primary night 2024. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Ashley Rowe. In just the past few minutes, NBC has called two races in our state for President Trump and for Mark Robinson for the GOP candidate for governor. The Associated Press has also called the Democratic presidential race for President Biden. No surprise there. No, Mark Boyle's in the WRO Live Center monitoring the national picture at this hour. Mark. Uh, good evening, Gerald. Here's where things stand right now. You just hit the headline right here. This is it. Trump has uh, win uh, one rather Virginia, North Carolina, called by NBC News and the Associated Press. And here's where things uh, stand in terms of those live cameras across the country. This is down in Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach. Uh, we have not heard from former President Trump at this point. We expect to later this evening. These are two live cameras right here. We've been able to pull into the live center on the left. This is where uh, Mark Robinson's expected to speak on the right. Right is uh, where Josh Stein will speak later this evening. So we'll have that for you as it happens. This map gives us a better indication in terms of where the polls are going to close next. Within the past minute and a half or so, all of these states highlighted in this uh, purple or pink, Texas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Alabama, up to uh, Massachusetts, just closed. We're going to see a lot of those results starting to come in now. And finally, as for those projections, NBC News calling uh, the state of North Carolina for President Trump, or President Trump. These are still very early in in terms of the votes. All of those numbers are still going to come in. Uh, Dan, we expect these things to change as of uh, we go later in the evening. Right now at 8 o'clock, a lot breaking in the live center. Mark, thank you. We are here with Laura Leslie. She's been breaking things down for us as we go race by race. As we talk about the Republican nomination for governor, NBC calling it using some exit polling. We're still waiting for a lot of votes to come in, but a pretty historic night for Mark Robinson if this turns out to be true. Right, but at this point, we really don't know what the big picture is because the rates, the, the, the votes that we're seeing now were the absentee mail-in ballots, right. right? Those were the ones they were allowed to process in advance. <clears throat> Those voters are usually the ones who really know who they want to pick, mm -hmm. right? So then when it starts to get interesting is when you get the folks who get to the ballot box without maybe having gotten their minds made up yet mm -hmm. and make that decision in the spur of the moment or last couple of days of the election. So I'll be interested to see how these numbers change as the evening goes forward. I would expect to see Mark Robinson's numbers increase quite a bit probably here in the next few minutes. Well, we'll wait to see that happen on the Democratic side. Uh, Josh Stein also uh, faring pretty well early on through the night. Here. Yeah, Josh Stein obviously looking about three to one at this point. Um, Mike Morgan is doing quite well in eastern North Carolina. He's from eastern North Carolina native. So um, that's kind of his ter is Terrell Booker for 4.4 and Gary Fox at 2.6 percent there. Um, Josh Stein is uh, as you know is highly expected to win this race. Okay, Laura Leslie, thank you. We're going to continue to keep you updated as the numbers come in and some of the specifics that you should be paying attention to in these, uh, these very interesting races, guys. All right, so far no surprises, but you never know when Americans go to the polls what's right. going to happen. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Laura. Results will be updated in real time, scrolling at the bottom of your screen and on WREL.com throughout the night. Lena Tillette and Chris Lovingood will have another live update on the results as they come in right here on WREL News Plus coming up at 8.30. Now let's get over to News Plus anchor Grace Holland.